We're very close to the Gulf, which means the pirates could have came into the Cedar Key area and buried their reals right here in this chest. When we bought this place back in 2021, we were told that a lump sum of $100,000 was given for the lease of the cell tower on our 70 acres. And when the owner passed away, the kids only found $4,000 of that. In other words, there's $96,000 to be found. And today, George and I are gonna find it on our own. Some money's already been found in a mason jar when we first got out here. But we have a feeling there's a hails of a lot more hidden underground somewhere. Our neighbor and friend Scott got us this Equinox. It's the 600. And look at this. You see the right the reading right here? Mm -hmm. The reading's at 15, 16, 17. Right in there. Right in there. That's so a gold indicator, that's gold. isn't it? That's gold. Do we have a shovel? Yeah. I don't where? Know. I don't know where you put it, though. I'll have to go get the tractor and get the bucket on it. We don't have the fanciest equipment, but... We do have sheer. We are still noobs. Yeah, we're noobs. We have sheer willpower. Uh -huh. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay. All right. That's so a nice that was. Looking plug. Thanks. Thanks. Uh -huh. I like to have my plugs looking nice. All right. I don't have plugs. Okay. And <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Jeremy, so. why? Why are you? Why did you bring that out? It's the pin pointer. That's a vacuum attachment. That's not the pinpointer. The pinpointer is right here. Easy to You're mix up. You're such a noob. <laughs> Easy to mix up. Rookie mistake. Oh, I'm the noob? <laughs> okay. Definitely hit. Oh, it's, something's in here. Oh, wow. Something's in there for sure. Uh-huh. What is it? What is it? What is that? Is that a it is. It is. That's an old casing right there, which makes sense. Okay, so look right here. Come on over here. So the old owner actually had a gun stand from here to here to here, mm -hmm. and he would come out here with a shotgun and he would shoot out to where our trailers are. So it wasn't gold. This time it's brass. And joink. And that's how you cover yeah. your hole. That's how you cover your hole right there. Uh -huh. Or you could do it like this, too. <laughs> George's turn to find some gold. Still a noob, so yeah, yeah, no definitely. judging at home. You know what? No judging at I know home. where there's a lot of metal. There's a ton of metal right there. License plates from... Head over there? Um, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure that's the kind of metal we're looking for. Yeah, definitely... That's reading 23. 23, okay. Does that mean aluminum? I have no idea. I think it means, 23 probably means license plate. Oh. You're on something. I'm getting a 21, 22 reading. George always digging herself deeper in holes. This is pretty customary here. That's been the goal for 2023. Is to dig yourself to deeper holes. dig my own grave. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. My holes suck. Yeah, that's probably not the best. And now she's grabbing for the metal detector to go over the shovel. You're okay, by the shovel. Give me the pinpointer. Okay, are you going to put that on the shovel too? Shh. Oh, now she wants to shush me. Shh. Okay, I'm shushing. Shh. You're ruining my concentration. What are you concentrating on? Finding the gold. Maybe definitely it was a you, false alarm. You definitely weren't concentrating on digging that hole. Maybe it was a false alarm. I don't know. I don't know. I need to dig deeper. I That's usually deeper. the problem. You dig a deeper hole for yourself every <laughs> single day. That's normally your problem. I'm not sure what that means, Jeremy. That means you got some correcting to do. That's what that means. Okay, apparently it's digger hole. Dig her hole deepen, deepening of the whole time here. Nice, nice. I think, I got a root. I think you got a root as well. Looks like you're one of the hogs rooting. Anything? No. Anything? Nope. Nothing is it yet? Is it on? Test it on the shovel. 
test it on the shovel. Yeah, that works. There we go. It was off. Huh. Test it on the shovel, make sure it's on. There it goes. All right. All right, we're noobs. We're learning. But that's what that's the thrill of the treasure hunt, right? We're modern day treasure hunters and that's what muddle detecting is all about. Finding the treasure. Whatever the you buried treasure. Whatever treasure. you want it to be about, that's what it's about. Here she goes mixing all of her equipment again. Okay, this is a new, this is a new form of... This is what Scott did last time, don't you remember? I'm pretty sure Scott definitely did not do it like that, he but... He went over the, he's like, let me see, and then went over the hole, and sure enough, it was a false reading. See, I'm not getting anything. Anything? Really? <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> right here, right here. Yeah, I think you're getting I something. I didn't dig deep enough. I think you're definitely getting something. Okay. That that metal detector was like, woo, 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 woo. Okay, she's she's onto something. I don't know what it is, but what it is is near the what front of the house. Look what I found, definitely. an Easter egg. What is part of an Easter egg? Is that an Easter? That is. That's part of an Easter egg. <laughs> How this cool is supposed would it be to be something in there. Metal detecting, not an <laughs> Easter egg hunt, George. When did when did metal detectors pick up plastic? I don't you better test it with the pinpointer. See what we got here. Anything? No. Is it on? It is on this time. Okay. Without our faithful instructor. We uh, this is gonna we take might a struggle. Longer. We might struggle. It's definitely gonna take a little longer. But you heard the metal detector. It was like woo woo. Dig me up right in here, lady. Look at that. She's digging with the pinpointer. <laughs> and we wonder why that pinpointer doesn't work. George gave up. I'm getting a 13 right now. That's okay. a 13. That's definitely a 13. That's a gold. Let's see what I can come up with. You think it's a gold reading? George gave up. I ain't ever given up. All right, let's see what we got right in here somewhere. Something's down here for sure. Yep. What do you think I got? Uh, I think I'm onto the gold? I don't know. What if I am? What I if she actually... I definitely want to try next to the trees. What if she actually took it all and buried the gold? All right. I don't think definitely. Working. I don't think it would be buried in the middle of the yard. It might be near a tree or something. Huh. Well, there's a tree right there. There is a tree right there. I'm on something. I'm on something. Oh! oh. There Look it is again. You. Another. There casing. it is again. Another brass casing. That's two brass casings for me, and no brass casings for George. George is on something. George is on something. Is it whistling at you or me? It ain't whistling at me. It's definitely, it's definitely screaming at right you here. though. Right here. Where? Screaming. What was the number? 13. So, more gold. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Gold or is it brass? I feel like I just hit something. Did you I, see me fall off the chimney? I did. Shovel? I feel like we're learning that the gold reading is also the brass reading. Oh, Are we I'm learning this? Something. You're probably hitting you're probably hitting a tree root. That would be my guess. Come on. Can you find the gold? Come on, baby. I'm right here. Can you find the gold? Were you calling that clod of grass and sand baby? Yes. I feel so very special right now. I feel so yes. special. Yes. Yeah, okay. What do you have the pinpointer? Why don't you ask that clot of grass for it since it's your baby? <laughs> are you seriously about to get jealous? Why don't you just ask that clot of grass for it since you two are so tight now? All right, it's on. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm right on it. Well, apparently that clot of grass was holding it for you, whatever it is. You're definitely close. You're on something. Did you feel gold? There's a big chunk of something over here. 
boy. This whole thing is solid. You're gonna have some dirt under your nails. <gasps> Look at that. Is it metal? Yeah. I gotta keep digging. Big metal? Up. Big metal? Yeah, there's a big chunk of something over here. Yeah, there's a chunk of something, all right. See? I hit it. Is that a two inch pipe? <laughs> you think it's the pipe? You tell me. <laughs> it looks like a root and it's not going off anymore. Is it a root? That's definitely a root. That is a root. Your metal detector was... isn't going off, but the light is on. We're gonna have to get is a that Garrett still carrot. Root? That's a root. That's a deep root. That's how they grow them here in Florida. Deep roots. Deep rooting. What happened? I was literally just on something. What happened to the buzzing? I don't know. Oh! You're on something. You're on something. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> that's holy a, that's cow. That's a brass casing. What did you just call me? A brass casing. Came to the back of the house. <laughs> Some, something's in here. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Am I getting it? That might have been a false reading. Oh, it's right there. Right, right in there. here? Yeah. Okay, we've got a reading here. Came to the back of the house. My philosophy was this. There used to be, look, over here, over here. Look. There used to be a door in here, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's just... Garbage. I mean, this whole house. If you again, if you can call oh, it a house. Did you know there's an outlet right there? Well, that's the first time I've ever seen it. I'm pretty sure it probably doesn't work. My thought was, if you had treasure, if you had ninety-six thousand dollars, you would probably just do it going off. You'd probably go out the back door. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. You'd probably go out the back door. And if you look over there, can you point over there, George? Whoop! All right. Apparently, she's being attacked Sorry. by a bug. <laughs> right over here. We found all kinds of mason jars down here in these mm -hmm. cedars. Or excuse me, they're not cedars, they're cypresses. Cypress. I'm on something. It was like a cypress grove. I'm on something. Oh, <sighs> nice big old root. I'm on a root. Okay, that's not exactly where we wanna be. Definitely not where we wanna be. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoa. I got you, I got you, I hear you. Let's see what we got. Nothing now. Nothing. Let me get the pin pointer. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It was here, it might have been a false reading. It, not getting anything. I think that was a false reading. I can find a better spot. <laughs> Definitely getting a strong signal here. And that's on the trail back to where we found the mason jars. Okay. Pla is that plastic? What do you mean, plastic? What is that orange stuff? That's plastic, yeah it is, it's plastic fencing. I couldn't see it in the beginning. Uh, my uh, my Equinox is trying to phone home or something. <laughs> it might be on something. Yeah, it's probably on something else. Let's see what we got here, let's see. Do you know how long it would take us to Marotitak the whole 70 acres? I don't know, but I'm on something. No. Oh, oh I'm right awesome. There. You got a strong sound right there. What is that? That is. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess this looks like an old line of something. Maybe. Some type of blob? I don't know. A to be honest. Pick? What they used to pick their teeth yeah, with. Yeah, that could be. That could be an old school toothpick. I thought maybe this was a turn valve, but now I'm looking at this and I'm going, this looks like this looks like old barbed wire fence even. Uh -huh. Whatever it is, it's been there for a long time and I scraped it with the shovel. George decided she wanted to come into the old cypress where we found all the mason jars before. Maybe she buried them deep. Holy cow. I think you're onto something. No reading? No. All right, there's the shovel. Okay. You're on something for sure. We found, what, 100 mason jars back here filled with all kinds of stuff. 
we found a mason jar with foreign collectible money up in the attic. Oh my goodness, you're on a hot spot. Here she goes, here she goes. The thing, the spot is so hot, the thing is still going crazy over there area. too. This entire area is crazy hot spot right now. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, we might be on the mother We load. might be on the mother load for sure. <laughs> Oh, You're on something, something down there, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to turn the machine off because it's going crazy right now. Here we go. Off button right there. And George is digging. There are lots of roots. She's digging. She's on, on something. Yeah, but are you on the money? Mm. We're looking for 90. I see it. I see it. I see it. What is this? I see it. Why? It's a spoon. Is it silver? Oh my goodness. Why this back here where all the mason jars were? Of all places. Made in the U.S. Stainless U.S. <sighs> well, that's one spoon for you. Were they making, were they cooking something back here? No spoons for me. Solid 15 and 16. Right in here. Not too far from where I found my school, my spoon. Maybe yeah. you found the golden spoon. There's something down here for sure. Like there was something. There was definitely something going on down here. All right, I'm gonna set it aside. Okay. Got the leaves all out of the way. There was something going down out here, back behind the house, for sure. Oh, I just think I just hit oh, something yeah. really solid. Holy cow. We're making all kinds of crunching noise. Okay. Now I want some chips. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We need to get some chips later today. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? It might be in here. Anything? Huh. Anything? All right, let me get the detector again. Okay. Nada, nada. Get the shovel out of the way. It's in the plug. It's saying that it's in the plug, not the hole, right? It's definitely in the plug somewhere. All right, we gotta find it. Nothing in there. This is some dark soil compared to the front of the house. It's in here somewhere. Come on, baby. Come on, Did show you just me where call that is. plug baby? Oh, now you got a problem with it? Come on, baby. Show daddy where the plug is. Excuse me? Did you fart? Are you thinking out loud right now? Absolutely not. I'm not allowed. All right, let me put it on pinpoint. It's in there. <laughs> okay, I think it's over in here. I think. See anything yet? No, but I don't hear anything either. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing there. Come on, there's got to be something. It's going over. Getting nothing with the pinpointer. Interesting. And it's Very on. interesting. Is it on still? See the light? Yeah. It's definitely on. Wait, wait. No, no. Thought I had some buzzing. I don't know. Nothing. Interesting. Saying what do you think? There. Should we dig up a hole where you're at? Oh, you're getting a strong reading right there. All right. Maybe. Let's do this. I'm on it. Ah! Oh, man. 
There it is. Another brass Another casing. Another brass casing. What's a brass casing doing all the way back here? I've got awesome news. Our neighbors just gave us permission to actually metal detect the baseball dugout that we thought was on our property, but it's not on our property. We have permission. You want to go check it out? Yes. Hey, there's some other special guests over at the schoolhouse as well. Robert and Dan are back from Lim Walkers Unlimited. They're out here at the old schoolhouse. They're going to clean up the old iconic oak tree. It's a beautiful tree, but it's going to be even better looking when they're all done. And you're going to want to see what they did. So what we're going to do is we're going to pin their channel down in our pinned comments. You can jump over and see exactly what they did to the tree right after you watch this video. And you may be asking, why are they coming out and working on the tree? Well, we got that yard sale coming up where everything's a dollar. Have you seen anything you want to buy for a dollar? A dollar? I'd take it all for a dollar, see? especially <laughs> if it's for the Ark. <laughs> they want to be a part of the benefit for the Ark as well. All he did was climb this rope to get up there. Look at him Woo! go. Woo-hoo! Look at you. That looks fun. Are you, you ready? Those boots? You Are you ready? I, I would go up. I would go up. If I had boots like this... I would go up, but uh, I don't have any boots like that. Robert, are these boots made for walking or climbing? These are made for climbing and cut proof. He swings through the air with the greatest of ease. It's Dan and Robert. They cut all our trees. <laughs> you want to see that big, big trunk fall? Man, that shook the whole school building. It shook everything. You gotta get over to their page. I mean, this is just crazy what they're doing up here in this tree. The baseball dugouts now. Again, we have permission. And look at this. There's a piece of a baseball right there. Oh, would you look at that? Nothing there. Trying, trying. Let's see. Oh, look, Scott. Scott's all over the place already. I'm on something. I'm on something. I got a I got a 13 and a 14. What do you think it is? Okay. Alright, here we go. Did you just taste that? Oh my gosh, I thought Jeremy was weird because he would put stuff in his mouth. I told Roy we'd give him everything we find over here. <laughs> so if we find a pool tab, I gotta give him a pool tab. We will find a pool tab. I'm not, I'm not getting anything. That's not good. Must, must be deeper down. Here, let me check it again, let me check it again. Okay. Scott's on it. Something's in there, isn't it? <laughs> Did he just eat that? <laughs> See, this is stuff, right? <laughs> There's definitely something down there. Yeah. I, ain't moved yet. I ain't getting to it yet. Yeah. All right, Brian, this is hard ground. Time for you to show me what you're made of. <laughs> don't break the shovel. I yeah. don't own it. We, we don't own that shovel, so uh, careful now. All right, Brian's gonna keep digging. Tell you what, this is not past the flavor test. <laughs> got a good hit. I got a good hit. Okay, mark your spot, because we're gonna come back to it. Come back to it, get over here now. Well, Brian's got the shovel. Don't worry about that spot, that spot's horrible. Oh, boy. All right, right there, Brian, you see it right there, right in the middle, it's in there. That's the money, that's the money. That's a hard dirt. Yeah, it is. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Scott even said that the dirt was harder over here than it was closer to the schoolhouse. Um, it's just pure sand over at the schoolhouse. Yeah, it made it easier. And parts of the ranch was sand too, so it made it easy. Well, the whole ranch is sand. It's not yeah. parts, the entirety. It's Florida. This must have been backfill that was brought in. Yeah, I'm getting something. Oh, it's George, George is sitting right next to my metal detector. It, it got my Yeah, I got the phone. phone. What was that? That's, That's called brain. wind. Did That's you just fart? Wind. Yes. You broke wind, didn't you? Yes. I was better than some of the other things I could have broken today. <laughs> All right, let's check this again. Make sure we're on it. Okay. What's your reading, Captain? It's in here. Oh, it's in the plug. It's in here. Kill it. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's in the plug. Whatever it is, it's in the plug. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can figure this one out. 
Whatever it is, it's in here. Oh, there's a worm. You saw a worm? I think so. Is it wearing anything? <laughs> All right, let me see. Nothing. Tried to break it up a little bit. Is it on? It's not on. Well, that would help, huh? Okay. It's definitely there. There it is. It's definitely in there. Is it? Oh! What is that? Fence it's nail. fence tie. It's the fence ties to keep the fence all together. Take Man! me out to the I ball. I thought I was on the money. What did Scott find? He gave up on his hole. What? He told me rule number one is never give up on the hole. <laughs> That's what he told me. He's like, there are very few rules in metal detecting. Oh. I'm on, on it. I'm on it. You're on something. I was on something. Scott just found something. I hear it beeping. I'm on something like crazy. Here it is. What is that? This is... Pull tab. Pull tab. That is an old pull tab from something. That's what we've heard down there. <laughs> Some kid was probably in here playing baseball and pulled the pull tab. It was probably from his big chew gum right there. It's a pretty sound. All right, I'm, I got a 25, which Scott says could be, could be a silver dime. Here you go. I'm going to hand that to you. Brian's like, I'm getting paid for this today? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, are. I'm on it. Oh. I'm on it. Where is it? And Brian accidentally gave himself a uh, goose egg on his forehead. Look, look, that, that, that fence was not very happy. With he had a fight with the fence pole. I was on it. We got to get one of those Garrett carrots. I was on it. Where'd it go? Scan it. Right there. What is that? Uh, what is that? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. Looks like aluminum. It is. Looks like. Yep. It definitely looks like a piece of aluminum. Maybe from a can or something? All tied up, twisted up. Does it pass a taste test? I would not put that in your mouth. <laughs> I would not put that in your mouth. But if we unfold it. Maybe there's a secret message in it. Oh, uh, yeah. Not finding it. Man, I thought we were on a silver dime. We're closer to the schoolhouse. There it is. You found it already. Vintage what is that? It's a vintage pull tag. <laughs> we love finding vintage pull tags. <laughs> oh, look at that. Jeremy's on something else. You better believe I am. Because I never give up on the hole. You're getting gooder at this, huh? A little grub in there. My bad. A little grub in there. Make sure you're... Clumps aren't gotten anything. Keep going. I'll tell you in just a second. Let's put this over it. Here's Scott beeping. Yep, keep going. Make Scott's sure on something. Make sure your thing is on. Scott's on something that sounds good over there. It's a penny. You think it's a penny? that penny that you're talking about. Hmm. Very cool. You found a penny. Take the 92 right now. We're getting a 92 reading. It would sound very similar, but the number would be a little bit higher. Oh, it's a button. A button? Yeah, an old aluminum button, maybe an underwear button. <laughs> we found an aluminum button. That's cool. We found some undie buttons. The patent date on December 9th, 1924. Oh, how cool. That's actually a really cool find. Yeah, no, it is. And you could see why it sounded like a dime. It's the same shape. 
Yeah. I got to see this. It thing. is aluminum. He brushed it off so you could see the details. How cool is that? that? Is cool. Buttons are great. Wow. That's like the second best of coins. That's we, cool. I love finding buttons. All right. You got to keep the button. You know, sew it on a shirt or something. <laughs> It'll go in your Otter Otter uh, Otter <laughs> Creek finds. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm right here. Oh, oh. I didn't realize you were listening. <laughs> you do realize I'm standing right here, right? Now I do. I'm on it, I'm on oh, it. Wow, you're definitely on something. Get them, boys. What yeah! Gold ring. This is... <laughs> see that? See that right there? You want to see my gold ring, Scott? Yeah. Put your finger out. You're about to be nice so early. jealous. Put your finger out. There you go. Be <laughs> jealous now. Be jealous. Oh, wait. I got one for you then. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. He's got one for you. You're going to love it, Jeremy. I was with him when he found it. For real? Yeah. You're going to love it. For real? Is it gold? Because if it ain't gold... Put your finger up. All right, I'm ready. Oh, nice! Oh, Look yeah. at that. That's Twinning. called that's called old school house bling right there. Oh my goodness! What is that? It's like an old rivet. Whoa! Stupid oh, giant bridge. <laughs> <laughs> we found something cool. All right, I'm, coming I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, that's an old linchpin. Oh, here's the first thing. Right? Is it? Another one. Yeah. This is probably an old linchpin. So found another uh, pull tab. So you put you back up the trailer to a tractor and and then the linchpin holds it all together. The linchpin is the most important piece of any farm equipment it literally holds everything together that's cool do you think there's something else in the hole I did. Oh. it's ringing 96 that might that could be good something good i had 106 over here is Ooh. 106 even a thing oh clad quarter Babe, our first, our, our first quarter here at the schoolhouse. Detect it again. That wasn't for detection. Is it that? What's that? It is. Oh my goodness. What is that? That is, that's for pills. Somebody was popping pills here in the parking lot. Huh. It's tin foil. Somebody got a, had a headache from digging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit of headache from digging and metal detecting all day. Pop of pills in the parking lot. He says it's in here for sure. What's that? Whoa! Whoa! What? Silver quarter. <gasps> Are you serious? A silver quarter? Baby, I'm gonna find a silver quarter. 43. Trust me. 1943 silver quarter. Wow, you are hot today. He's on fire. Not Nice! He is on fire. Here, here, over here again. We gotta find a silver quarter. It, what was the reading? 98 on this machine. Yeah, I had a here. 99. What, what numbers are you getting? You like a 32? 30, 31, 32. Swing it, yeah. just gotta move. 29, 30. It's very it's, cool. It is warm. That's not it. Alright, swing it over here again. That's the first silver quarter I found on you. That's awesome. <laughs> You're scoring big at the schoolhouse. Somebody's milk money. Wait till you see what comes out of this. So far, nothing. So, <laughs> what was the reading? Do you remember? I don't remember. Brian, do you remember what the reading was? Swing it again. Swing it over that. Swing it over that. Okay, swing it over this again. It's on that back end. Swing it over that. I found it. What was it? I 
found is right here. Antique pull tab right, right there. Pull tab too. Silver pull tab! I got it! <laughs> He's not impressed. He's not impressed. It's I, a nice break. I would break. definitely like to try this out in the swamps and go up hammock. Yeah, it's definitely I, a nice break from uh, taking roofs down and cleaning <laughs> up the schoolhouse. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a top. Like a toy top? <laughs> yeah. I think we found it a vintage top. Is it? Oh my I think goodness. so. Spin it on his, sho his shovel. Yeah. All right, you ready? Okay, here we go. I mean, close. <laughs> close. I need the pull string. It's a little out of balance. Yeah, yeah, I need the pull string. That or. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. It is cool. Would you find Brian? A thing of a doodle. A oh, thing, nice. A thingamadoodle. Oh, nice All thingamadoodle. right. Scott, Scott, what do you find? I know what it is. Do you? I know oh, you yeah. know what I it know is. It's a uh, key off a sardine can. So, and it still has the steel strip. Yeah, the steel strip is still around it. So what you would do is it would turn, and that steel strip is on it right there. And that's an uh, old key for a can. Nice. <laughs> Don't you eat it. Sound Scott thinks he has a coin right over here. The dime signal. Hopefully Dime signal silver, ring. Silver, come on. Hopefully it's silver. Silver big money now. 92. 92 reading. Brian's on to someone. You're right on it. Oh, so close. Oh, no, it's a copper penny. Oh, penny. Copper penny. 75. Penny's better than nothing at all, right? Mm-hmm. Scott's on clock parts. All kinds of stuff, huh? And then Brian is on some huge thing. It's Holy like cow. Penny. What is it? Clue. It might be the old railroad to Otter Creek. So Scott was on the clock part right there. And Brian's digging up the entire yard. <laughs> He's on something big. Found a Imagine. He's on something. Yeah, Can case. you get the shovel under the edge? How big is it? So I try to get the shovel under there, it's not moving. It's, it's that big? It's going deeper in too. I can still feel it right there. If whatever it is, it's huge. Scott's on something. Brian's still digging a hole to China over there. Literally digging in a huge hole. No, it's trash. You think? Sheet metal. You might be on the same thing Brian's on right now. It's like a car hood or something. Yeah, it's like some kind of car. <laughs> you you got a piece over there? Looks like Brian's got a piece of it over he's here. On a, he's on a pipe. Or is something. that the entire car? He's underneath the, the corner. This is the bottom here. Oh, I wonder if that's like metal roofing or something. Or the hood of an actual car. You think so? There's something big down there. Are we gonna dig for it or leave it? He's 19. He likes to dig. It. He's not giving up. Dig more in this direction. That's one big treasure chest. This might be that treasure chest or that safe you've been looking for. Yeah. What that, do you think, Scott? Sheet metal or a treasure chest? We'll find out what it's out of there. It's a treasure chest or made out of sheet metal. That's true. Yeah. Excuse me. Brian's not going to give up on this hole. Yeah. Rule number one never give up on the hole. Right, Scott? Most, mostly. Yeah. Mostly. <laughs> mostly. Unless you're digging in concrete, then you're allowed to give up. <laughs> Unless you're given concrete to dig in, you give up. Diggity dig, diggity dig, diggity dig, 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 dig. We're very close to the Gulf, which means the pirates could have came into the Cedar Key area. The Spanish could have come in onto the, I mean, they might have, might have marched right down Route 24 and buried their reals right here in this chest. If it is indeed a chest. I find it in the front of the back edge. There is a back edge to it? Yeah, here's the back edge here. Goodness. Oh my goodness. We don't know what it is. We don't that, know how deep that thing I can goes. Figure out. 
the parameters of this thing. Figure out how wide it is to get. I kind of want to touch it. Go ahead. Am Go ahead. I allowed to? Absolutely not. You don't know. He you said don't know no, what kind Brian. Of viruses. Yeah, my could be on that old Ooh, I might be cursed right chest. now from touching that thing. You know what happened to Jack Sparrow when he took the piece of gold? He started doing this. Uh -huh. I am Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Sorry, I, Brian, I I'm not allowed. That. I can't have that with you. <laughs> he ain't got to go home with me. <laughs> Where'd it go? You buried it out even more. This nice. is going to be a big old hole. Where's the edge? There's a piece. What is that? It's an old piece of glass bottle. Where's the edge? Ready? Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's, is it the door to a safe? This is a cast iron stove. Remember when I said the cast iron stoves were in, were in the schoolhouse? Yeah. That's got to be a piece to the cast iron stove. Oh wow. Oh man. <laughs> man, well now now we know where one of the cast iron stove pieces actually went. <laughs> right here in the yard. Wow. Yeah. See, it was kind of sketchy until I pulled it. Now it Uh-huh. Now you're getting a strong reading. You're right on it. What's that? Wheat penny. Ooh, wheat penny. Those are fun to find. What year? 40. 1940? Yeah. Nice. Good color coming out of the ground here, too. This, I got ants all over them. Got some double beeping. Oh, harmonica reed. What? We found a harmonica reed. Found a nail. Brian over there finding nails. Nice. Congrats, man. That's really cool. See, these are the little things that vibrate. Uh-huh. Ooh, I just broke it. These are never intact, too. That's a pretty good one. That's awesome. Scott found something else. Another uh, harmonica reed. What are the odds of this you finding two harmonica reeds? This one's broken. This must have been the harmonica area. Where they used to play their banjos and, yeah. and their harmonicas. That one's in rougher condition, you said? Yeah, it's broken. And the end of it's broken off. Wow, still very cool find. Yeah. Brian is literally on his belly <laughs> digging holes to China. He's committed. While Scott is over here. That sounds like silver. This could be silver. Could be or is. Well, about to find out. We're gonna find out for sure. Something's in there. Something is in there. Oh man. I think Brian, Brian's definitely on something too, you think? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, another silver quarter. Come on. Yeah, clad. Clad quarter? Eagle back. Uh, 1980. Not bad, that's not a bad year. That's when, that's when George was born. You've been at this quite some time, dude. I'm gonna get it. <sighs> still, still gonna get it. So it's going, it's, it stops about here. Right it in. widens out a little bit and it's going more yeah, it's going way. that way okay. all right if anybody can do it it's super brian 12 seconds later you got some kind of hinge brian yeah it keeps going deeper yeah that's the door that goes to china and then scott you just let's pop this out can you see it oh my goodness oh my goodness how cool is that wow Old school pocket old knife. Old school pocket knife. Lost, it was dropped open. That kind of looks like an old timer, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the emblem. Blades rusted out. Yeah, blades gone, but. Wow, how cool is that? You finally got it out? Yeah. yeah. Blood, sweat, and tears. What is <laughs> getting that? That hour's on your belly with your arms down in there in the hole. That well, actually. Hurt on his chest. Yeah, you got a little <laughs> dirty there, man. I'm sorry. Is it safe to say you love you love metal detecting? I am enjoying this. Why Brian still is digging to China, Scott just found something else. Oh my goodness. Oh man, you are the master at finding jewelry out here. Gold ring? Silver. It silver? looks like silver wire. Like a hand, homemade jewelry. Handmade. That's cool, man. So cool. Ah. So silver quarter and the ring. What was your favorite find of the day? That, the ring or the quarter? 
Um, this is pretty cool. That's th but that's, silver is always great. Yeah, you can never go wrong with silver or gold. Brian is literally out there digging another hole because he found this huge, huge hinge. He found an old iron, and here's all of Scott's Hall here. Some of the coolest stuff right there. Silver quarter, ring. Oh, yeah, the aluminum the button. Money. Oh, man, how does it get penny? any better than this? What a fun day.